into the car. So today I am going to discuss about another machine learning algorithm, which is called Light TPM. Uh, this algorithm can also be used for regression tasks, but today I am going to learn this for a classification task. And this is a boosting algorithm. Uh, it is based on decision tree, but uh, it has so much more advantages compared to decision tree. So let's get started. Let's support the record libraries. Print test script. This is a Python API. Uh, I didn't find it in Scikit-Learn. So you can install it using the pip install that TPM command if you do not have the, this API. So let's uh, let's do some instruction. So the version says it's 4.5.0. So can I let's load the data set that I want to use for this example? So it's called magic comma equal script data set. CSV Magic Comma Telescope dot CSV. Let's check the first few rows. Okay, so here how many columns? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten features. This is the target column. So it seems this is related to astronomy, I guess. It's difficult to say what these columns mean. So maybe something to do with the lens, I guess, lens of the telescope. Anyway, so. So it is 19,020 and 11. So 11 are the columns and rows and over 19,000. So it's relatively big. And let's first check if there is any missing value. missing value so that's good let's also check the target column okay, so we have two types of entities on the target column G and H let me check the values that is the big so value counts Okay, 
so g is present uh, 12,332 times which is less or uh, like half of that more or less so let's also mention what is g and h here so this is g is short for gamma this is sigma h is short for hadron which is background not have a lot of idea about this because I'm not familiar with astronomy but let's uh, see how our machine learning model which is light GPM performs on this data set so I choose a category value uh, to convert it into numerical values so I want to perform two processing for f by lambda one that is zero is it so it's is equal to hadron which is background Previously, we had this value is g value in the first file row. Now we replace them with 1 because this condition says it will be 0 if it is H. Otherwise, if it is g, then it will be 1. Now let's separate details and init process. Because x is to be the block, last column is turret, so I am dropping it and I am doing the block. This is only half the last column. So x is our feature and y is the target. Now we can split. Labels and then test files. Click on this guy and join cells. Click on test files. Then we select one. You can check the length after this split. So 14,265 samples in the train set and 4,755 samples in the test set. Now we can apply our light GBM classifier. So I can use it to search many parameters. So this thing type number of leads of those learning rate estimators and objective many 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 parameters. So I will keep everything to default just to make sure that I don't mistake. Then I will keep the training data. Okay, so it 
given both in this time and this number of lots of dates there number of for date 9235 number of number of movie date 5030 auto choosing color wise multi threading blah 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 okay so it's good enough to set this to true let's set it okay so true is not defined i think it has to be capital okay so total means this number of means number of data points in the training yes we have seen that they are Teachers train we have already seen that we have trained teachers. These are the trained teachers. And uh, okay, I think the others are not that important. Just check up uh, check the accuracy. So accuracy in the train set. So they did that. Let's train our train. Let's uh, just see that is on the test set. Okay, so we have. Uh, Little more than 92 percent accuracy on the train set, and in case of test, it is just over like 8 percent. Let's plot countries and nations. Oh, this is a number here, so not seven. It's a white. So this is how our composition matrix look like. So yeah, we can turn the minus gain. 
Ok, este es un error. Este es Python 58. Correcto. So, the zero, which is I think zero, I think uh, okay, zero is eight, I guess, background and two thousand nine hundred thirty seven correct for signal, which is comma and this may be wrong. Okay, so let's uh, Use categorical label instead of this numerical required labels. We have we have H and G because H is zero. So we replaced zero and one with H and G. Okay, now let's check the water matrix. So let's uh, open a script. Checkers. Okay, so the phone speed is 0 0.903 and checkered is 82%. Percent. Let's now print. So these are the two system default and open reports for each class. Okay, so in this list that is equally low. Okay, create two session. Okay. Finally, one more thing is the hierarchy. So the feature importance seems to be based on decision tree. importance features seven floor with dots so this is the plot of feature importance so you can see the most important feature is f width so which is second column here the least important feature is f and three trunks, whatever that means. Let's check this vision. And it also has some negative values in the first few rows. I'm not sure what the entire data could look like. Okay, so vision is the least important feature. So I think that's the end of this video. And I used a Python API, so you need to install it.
you uh, don't have it in your laptop using the install like cpm command thanks for watching this video